Oh my god. Ah, fucking shit. Hello, kitty. How are you? <laughs> Good day everybody, my name is William Dragonbear and I just want to say what a beautiful day it is to be live. What I mean by that is I have just gone through absolute hell. Uh, not, not necessarily hell, the dog stinks, that's why I'm pushing it off the bed. I need to give it a shower. But anyways, what I mean by that is not, not necessarily hell, I, I'm glad that I'm working again and I thought it would be necessary to tell you guys how my first day at this job went. By job, by, by, by first day, I mean first two days, because I was working this morning as well. But, anywho, point being, I, work, I just got back from working 6 p.m. to 6.15 a.m. I have, I, I fell asleep when I got home, of course, because I've just gone through the entire night working my absolute fucking ass off. But it was it was good. I, I learned actually a lot of things from this job, like how to drive a forklift. I, I drive a forklift, and uh, I learned how to clean out a gigantic ass shredder. Do you guys know what a shredder is? Of course you do. If if you don't, you might want to watch Ninja Turtles again. But anyways, uh, the shredder was fucking huge, and it, it's one of those kinds that pushed the things into the blades. And I had to get inside it and clean it out. And this fucking shredder is gigantic. Like, it, it's not, ooh, a little paper cut. No, it's a, you get stuck in there and somebody presses that button while you're inside of it cleaning it. You're dead. You are done. Uh, but I got there and the guy was just like, okay, do you know how to drive a forklift? I was just like. No, I don't know how to drive a forklift. I don't even have my license yet. And he he was just like, well, hop on a forklift. What? <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, huh? Yep, you're learning how to drive a forklift today. I want you to do a few laps around here to get used to it. And forklifts, it feels like you're fucking drifting when you're turning. When you turn, it feels like you're absolutely drifting. And I was having so much fun with it until he decides to go, Alright, pick up these crates, put them in a neat stack right over there. There are a whole lot of levers on a forklift. Well, actually, there's three of them. Alright, well, one of them goes, ma makes it go up and down. Well... Not necessarily. Actually, it's the opposite way. Down picks it up, and when you press up, it brings it down. And then the second lever uh, is the the middle lever is basically side to side. Like uh, you press it down, it goes right. You press it up, it goes left. And the last lever is to basically tip it or make it go up. And I got the hang of it. it. It felt like I was playing one big Key Master game. Do you guys know what Key Master is? Here, I'll put an image right here. It, it it's a it, it's a game where you have to basically measure it out, and you have to stick it in the middle. Then it gets the prize. It actually it locks, and then it gets the prize. Uh, this is basically one Key Master, one gigantic Key Master game, to where if you fuck up, it's coming out of your check. So, I, I got the hang of it, actually. Uh, it, it doesn't necessarily take out of your check. It just means they have to buy more and we have to wait a little while. Um, but so far, I'm doing pretty good. I, I think they were actually impressed of how quickly I learned uh, how to control the forklift. And then they stuck me on uh, this... A after the whole freaking forklift incident they they stuck me on uh this wood flower machine if you guys know what wood flower is it's basically 
wood chips that are grained it up, like ground it up, and they go through an entire drying process. And I gotta tell you there for a little while, I did not know what the fuck I was doing. But eventually I got the hang of it. You have to take these gigantic fucking bags of wood flour and you have to it, like change them out every five minutes or so, uh, every 15 minutes or so, not every five minutes. Every 15 minutes the bag is done. But uh, it, it usually does it on its own. Like it, it the, the machine comes in like this, the bag goes in the middle and when you start it up, it goes like fucking, it, it's like a gigantic butterfly aspect. And normally it would run on its own, but the thing that the piece of shit broke down, so we have to do it manually, which means I have to grab like a little paper clip or something, get underneath it, and press a little button every five seconds. I have to press that button to where it can uh, do the butterfly thing. Otherwise, it doesn't do the butterfly thing, and we get no wood flower in the machine. And I have to do that every five seconds. After it's done and everything, and it's taken a little break, it takes about 45 minutes to uh, settle down and everything. And then the light comes back on, and I have to do it all over again. And then there's this gigantic shredding... I, I told you guys about the shredding machine, right? Yeah. Well, I had to get in there and clean it out and everything, because one of the fucking teeth broke off, and the machine just made this loud fucking pop noise to where I had to get in there, me, me and a... Uh, me and somebody else who works there got in there. We had to find that piece before we shredded any more plastic. It's a plastic shredder. And after that, we had to sit there and let all the plastic shred and everything. And once you start hearing the machine getting louder and louder, once it gets to a certain point, we have to shut it off and wait for the rest of it to finish. And that takes another 45 minutes. Well, after that, we went to a fucking house storm with uh, this rubber machine. Not actually rubber machine, like condoms and everything. No, 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 nothing like that. Stop it. But, hold on. But, hold on. Alright. But, anywho, when it, it comes to the rubber shit, it's basically cycling through. So, that got stuck and jammed. Like, shit tons of these little rubber objects got jammed into this pipe on the ceiling. On the ceiling. Which means we have to fucking get this little, uh, this little cart thing. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but we have to... It's one of those things where you press down. It's kind of like a forklift. You press down, it goes up. Well, anyways, we're going up with it. It's like this mobile elevator. I don't know what the fuck they're called. <laughs> My brain is kind of dead right now because I just stayed up the entire night doing this. But, uh, we, we basically press down and it goes up. And, uh, the buddy that helped me clean out the shredding machine and everything got up there. He took it apart. And when the pipe came out, all those tiny little rubber things came shooting the fuck out. A after I got done with that, I looked like I just came out of a fucking mine, okay? From 48 hours worth of mining. Yeah, hair. And by the time we got back down, everybody's around us looking at us like, what the fuck? Because the mobile elevator, I still don't know what it's called, but the mobile elevator came up to our knees, basically, in this rubber shit. Luckily, I was wearing safety glasses, but the other guy wasn't, and he was covered with the shit because he was directly underneath it, and I was just right next to it. And... So yeah, we just kept on doing that in a, in a rotation where uh, I drive the forklift, put plastic in the shredder, do this, do that. Twelve hours later, I clock out. I am walking out of the building, proud as shit of myself. 
because I got a hold of this job really easy. Like, real easy. I, I got a hold of this job. And, but I was sore as fuck. I felt like I was going to collapse if I kept going. And so, yeah, on the, on the way home, Dad looks at me and he goes, so how was it? I was just like, <laughs> I just started laughing and I'm just like, it went good. So I just want to let you guys know that I am fitting in very well at my job. It's going very well. Uh, it's going to take a, take a few days to get used to the whole schedule aspect of it. Because I almost said I'm going to go home, uh, turn off lights, and go to sleep and say goodnight. <laughs> one of my... One of my new friends that work there goes, Good night, huh? You mean good morning? <laughs> I look at the clock and I go, Fuck. It's morning. And so, yeah, I, I guess the whole basic of this video is telling you guys how I am and how I'm doing, and that pretty much, if you guys are 16 and over and you want a job, go for it. You have to be 18 or older to work this one, but go for it. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go rest up for a little bit. And I might go live. I have no idea. Uh, if I don't, I love you guys. And I will see you all tomorrow. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Hit that bell if you want, if you don't want to miss any of my content. And I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters. <laughs>